Hi, my name is Jack Schulenberger. I go to Penn State here. Uh, we're going to drive around and we're going to check out the campus and then we're going to go uh, drive a little bit away from campus to go check out uh, Belfont and uh, give, it a, give it a look and uh, see what's around. So uh, this is we're just getting a little walk through of Penn State. And Penn State's a giant ag agricultural school. And right there we showed, that was one of our pig barns. Um, they do a ton of studies on, on pigs and everything you can. And then our big gem, this is our football field. Uh, like 110,000 people can sit in that stadium. It gets popping on game day. You got our track to our left. You got more training facilities for all the athletes and stuff like that. Uh, you got people tailgating for I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> to our right, um, this is our baseball field. Uh, so this is where uh, our Big Ten baseball team plays. And uh, there's also a minor league uh, team that plays uh, for us. So there might be a minor league game or something going on today. There is. It gets Literally, like I said, it gets pop and it gets filled. And uh, in the next coming years, apparently, we're building a uh, couple million dollar brand new high tech stadium. Uh, here on our left, this is uh, the BJC. Uh, we call it, it's the Bryce Jordan Center. We call it the BJC. We have everything from concerts in here to uh, we host um, uh, FTK for the kids, for or kids with cancer. Uh, anything you can think of, country concerts, Zach Bryan. Uh, everything goes on in there. Um, up here is the ice hockey arena um, where they have the games and, and they train in there. Uh, right here to the right, this is our gym. It's called the IM building for intramural sports and gyms. It's literally a building that's the size of two warehouses that has gyms, uh, racquetball, basketball courts. It's two floors. They have food in there. Um, so kids will come here and work out and, and, and play intramural sports, which is pretty big. On the back side of it um, is literally like fields on fields on fields of um, soccer fields, football fields for, uh, for intramural. And then uh, here's some tennis courts. And uh, on the back side, like I said, is those fields. There's also like turf, we do turf grass studies back there. So there's gorgeous turf grass. Here's freshman dorms. Uh, this is called, I think this is East. Uh, yeah, this is East Hall. These are just renovated. Uh, really cool freshman dorms are top of the line. And what's cool about Penn State is our stadium is literally in campus. You can go from your dorm or your apartment and walk and be in the stadium and then you walk and you're in downtown in five minutes. So the coolest thing about Penn State is you can be on game day, you can go to the bars and have, have food, have some drinks with your buddies. You can be tailgating and go home and go to bed. Uh, the, you don't have to drive anywhere and it's, it's a lot of fun. It's game day atmosphere and even like what's going on today, it's parents weekend and uh, it's just, it's packed. So a big thing at Penn State since we're in ag school is uh, our agricultural products. And this is uh, the creamery. It's, uh, we make our own ice cream, our meats and cheeses. We harvest our own meat here and sell it to people. And here's a bunch of classrooms. Uh, all the forestry buildings are all down here. Uh, forestry research buildings and agricultural buildings right there. Ag science is what we call it. We have greenhouses. Um, most of all the College of Ag stuff is all from here. And all these buildings are, are dated to like the found, founding of the school. Like Tyson, this is Tyson. Uh, Ferguson, uh, all these buildings have been here since like the the start of Penn State. Uh, these are the original buildings um, as it started as an agricultural school. Um, so like it, Penn State's interesting because all of our stuff is broken up. So you have your ag kids, your college of ag kids that are down here, but you can still have your mixed few of kids that have classes everywhere. This used to be an old theater, uh, no longer has movies, it's just uh, old, old theater that's restored um, over here this is our uh, like gen ed buildings Penn State most of our stuff like we have uh, lion hands and stuff are all sculpted uh, by either alumni or students that are around campus I wish I knew the total amount of buildings that we have here uh, it's actually insane um, the amount of stuff 
that Penn State has. Up here on your right is our lion, where you can see the line of people for Parents Weekend coming to get pictures on the lion. Um, a cool thing we kind of do is if we shoot like a big buck or a bunch of turkeys or, or ducks, we'll go get a picture on the lion um, and, and just show it off and, and kind of fun for the College of Ag. There you go, that's Old Main Building. Uh, that's Old Main, that's our prized possession. Um, gorgeous building, literally founder of Penn State right there, that's the building. Um, it's, it's, I don't know all you gotta say about Penn State. It's awesome, fun, big, um, enjoyable, you know. Couldn't pick any better school. Uh, it's just, it's awesome. It's just flat out. So, so we're in Talleyrand Park uh, in Belfont, so it's like 15 minutes from State College. Uh, this is Spring Creek, one of the greatest creeks there is in the whole country. I think it has the most fish per square foot in the country. Um, all wild brown trout, wild rainbow, some stock rainbow sneak in through bald eagle. But this section we're in right here is basically nursery waters in the park. You're not allowed to fish it. So the fish have realized that people feed them bread and they've just gotten huge. Like we're looking at multiple 25 to 30 inch rainbows and brown trout right below us. And if you go up to the waterfall even more, you'll see probably another dozen, two dozen just absolute hogs. And then once you go up there, you'll see some banded mallards as well. But um, yeah, there's just some absolute pigs in this stretch of water. And you can fish right down below there, but they're pretty smart. They know, uh, they know where they're safe. So we're here at the park, and uh, as you can see, it's just mass loaded with mallards, and, and uh, just, it's insane. There's every park in Round PA you can find, if you're rather in uh, State College or South Central PA, they're just loaded with ducks. Uh, this is where a lot of our population of ducks is. And uh, a lot of these ducks uh, will never leave here. Um, and there's always bands here, but you can just watch the bands. And if you could get the numbers, I promise you they'd be here at, in the later part of the season because they just don't leave. So that's part of our, our problem with PA and trying to hunt is just, we just all our population is in uh, refuges and, and uh, parks and stuff. But it's cool to watch them, it's just hard to hunt them. So. I mean, I kind of did it growing up, and, and it was like a, a thing that my my brothers would do and my, and my friends would do is we go to parks like this, uh, and like this is where we'd kind of learn the duck call. Um, you'd come here and you'd listen to them them call, and you kind of get a just a, a feel for how they're calling and when they're calling down, when they're with other ducks and what they're doing. And it's like you can listen to all the YouTube videos and the hunts you want until you actually see the ducks in, in person and like. A lot of people do those real fast feet chuckles and just hammer it, and, but that's never, I've never once actually heard a lot of duck do that. Uh, and they, they're always doing like their soft, like one, two feet chuckles, and then um, they're just loud, normal clacks. But yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. It's like not just you get to see the ducks, but you get to listen to the ducks, and uh, they kind of teach you uh, what they sound like. So when you hunt them, um, it just makes it easier to to understand what's going on and sound like a duck. So.